Welcome to my video courses on the philosophy of Jainism and its educational implications. Jainism is much older than Buddhism. Though independent of Buddhism, it resembles it in several respects such as retaliation of the authority of Vedas or repudiation of the authority of Vedas, a pessimistic outlook of life and lack of belief in God. Fundamental to Jainism is the doctrine of two eternal, coexisting, independent categories known as Jiva, animate living soul, the enjoyer, and Ajiva, inanimate non-living object, the enjoyed. Jiva is a feeling on consciousness. It encompasses soul and the spirit. Ajiva is everything else in the universe. It doesn't have feeling or consciousness. In Jainism, there are three jewels. The three jewels are understood as Samyak Darshana, right faith, Samyak Jnana, right knowledge, and Samyak Charitra, right contact. One of the three cannot exist exclusive of the others and all are required for spiritual liberation. What is the metaphysics of Jainism? According to Jain thought, the basic constituents of reality are souls, soul, jiva, matter, budgala, motion, dharma, rest, adharma, space, akasam, and time, kala. Space is under to, understood to be infinite in all directions, but not all of space is inhabitable. Epistemology and logic of Jainism. Real, reality is multifaceted, anakanda or non-one-sided, such that no one view, no one view can capture it in its entirety. No single statement or set of statements capture the complete truth about the objects they describe. That is what they believe. There are four principles of Jainism. These are non-violence, ahimsa, non-attachment, aparikraha, not lying, satya, not stealing, asteya, and sexual restraint, pramacharya, with the celibacy as the idea. The Jain belief in non-violence extends beyond harming humans but includes animals, plants, even microorganisms. It holds that all life is sacred. What is liberation in Jainism? It is a blissful state of existence of a soul attained after the destruction of all karmic bonds. A liberated soul is said to have attained its true and pristine nature of infinite bliss, infinite knowledge and infinite perception. Such a soul is called a Siddha and this soul is revealed in Jainism. The final aim of, aim of Jainism is the development of one's personality. While it emphasizes the individual aspect, the social aspect in terms of service to others is not ignored. Jainism is a religion without God, but Jainism is intensely spiritual and ethical. It does not deny Godhood. Every liberated soul is a God because it attains a Godhood. Therefore, they have temples to worship Tirthankaras. Jainism gives absolute religious independence and freedom to man. Jainism holds that knowledge is of two kinds, immediate, that is the consciousness of the Atman itself, and mediate knowledge, that is perception, remembering, recognition, cognizant, and anumana itself. What are the implications of uh, Jainism in education? educational implications of Jainism, open-mindedness. Truth is relativistic and pluralist. 
what is true to some may not be true for others knowledge therefore may be viewed differently students must be taught to view things in different perspectives they should be open minded and be willing to accept different opinions then self realization man must focus on divinity and remove the material bond of the soul therefore students should be taught to focus on developing the spiritual side and not focus on material things education should lead to self enlightenment students should not study for the sake of marks or good report they should study to broaden their mind and broaden their thinking study should be for the sake of gaining new knowledge and developing oneself then there is development of personality as an individual it gives so much importance to this schools should stress individual aims and ambitions the common curriculum should be removed and individualized curriculum and courses should be provided to the students based on their personal needs and interests students should develop spiritual knowledge and a feeling of sympathy and empathy for life subjects like bible studies moral studies supervised pastoral work etc subw etc focus on spiritual aspects while subjects like environmental education human rights education help develop empathy and encourage social work students must realize their own shortcomings and bad behaviors students should abstain from bad habits that they may have learned from others they should be given the motivation to remove those bad behaviors and replace them with good ones education should develop in students the sense of discrimination between what is good and what is bad education should inculcate non violence as a virtue practiced uh, and not only aspired for but that would also be socially practiced the teaching of uh, this uh, this teaching of nine principles are called the nine categories of jainism to dissolve the partnership between soul and matter thank you very much dear friends may god bless you let us meet in other video lectures